Hello and welcome back to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we wrote a function for BFS algorithm. Today, let's see how that function works with an example. Here we have a graph. We'll see how this function works with this graph. So this is a function definition. Function definition won't execute until it is called. So first we need to call that function. If I call BFS function here, First here I need to mention the starting node, then graph, graph is a dictionary which contains nodes and its adjacent nodes and here visited one is a set. So here visited one is a set. Now here we need to mention the starting node. If I mention a node which is not present in the graph, just for an example, let's take x, starting node as x. Now we'll call this function like this. So here node becomes x, graph is a dictionary, visited one is a set. So first it will check if node not in graph. Here x is a node, it will check whether that is present in the graph. Graph is a dictionary which contains nodes and its adjacent node, right? So here x is not present. Here you can see in this graph x node is not present. So it will execute this condition. It this condition becomes true. So it will print this message print node not present in the graph. So x is not present in the graph. It will execute return. So it will come out of the function and it will stop the execution of the function. If we take starting node as the node which is not present in the graph, then we'll get this message that node is not present in the graph and it will stop the execution of the function. Next. Let's take starting node as A. So it will start executing this function. So here node becomes A. Graph is as I said it is a dictionary. Visited one is a set. Initially it is empty. So first it will check if node not in graph. Here node is A not in graph. No actually node is present in the graph. Here you can see A is present in the graph. So this condition become false. So control will come here and it will execute this statement that is Q list. So it will create a Q that is nothing but a list. So we'll get a list. I'll take this as Q. Okay. This is a list now. Next statement is Q dot append node. So you need to append node to Q. Your node is starting node that is A. So append that to Q. So I'll append that to Q. A is inserted to list. Next, visited one add node. So you need to add that node to visited one. That is nothing but we need to mark that node as visited. So here visited one is a set. Add A to visited one. Done. Next, while Q. If Q is empty, then it becomes false. Empty values are evaluated as false. So here if Q is empty, this condition becomes false. But here, Q is not empty, A is present in the Q, so it is not empty, it is true, so it will execute while loop body. So it will become current equal to Q dot pop 0. It will pop the element from the Q. Here only one element is present in the Q, so it will pop that. So here current becomes A. Okay. Now next statement is print current. Current is here A, so it will print that. To the screen okay output screen next for i in graph of current so here graph of current is nothing but graph of a so current is a graph of a will give you the adjacent node of a graph of a is nothing but will get its value that is its adjacent value b and c so here we'll get b and c initially i value will be b so if i not in visited, we'll check whether b is already visited or not. It is not present in the visited one set. So b is not visited. So this condition becomes true. So q dot append i. Append i that is nothing but b to q. So b is added to list. Then visited one dot add i. That is nothing but you need to mark b as visited. Add that to visited set. So now we are done with this execution. Control will again go to here, this for loop, and now i becomes c. So it will check whether c is not in visited. 
नो सी इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द विजिटेड दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू क्यू डॉट अपेंड आई अपेंड सी टू क्यू देन विजिटेड वन डॉट एड आई सो मार्क दैट नोड सी एज विजिटेड एड दैट टू विजिटेड वन से सो नाउ वी आर डन अगेन कंट्रोल विल गो हियर दिस करेंट नोड दैट इज ए हैज ओनली टू एडजस्टेंट नोड बी एंड सी सो नाउ वी आर डन विद दिस एग्जीक्यूशन सो कंट्रोल विल अगेन गो हियर वाई लो इट विल चेक वेद अ क्यू कंडीशन इज ट्रू और नॉट क्यू इज नॉट एम टी बी एंड सी आर प्रेजेंट सो दिस कंडीशन बिकम्स ट्रू सो इट विल गो हियर करेंट क्यू डॉट पॉप पॉप द एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द क्यू सो हियर पॉप मीन्स इट विल रिमूव बी फ्रॉम द क्यू सो हियर नाउ करेंट बिकम्स बी नेक्स्ट प्रिंट करेंट सो इट विल प्रिंट बी टू स्क्रीन आउटपुट स्क्रीन नेक्स्ट फॉर आई इन ग्राफ ऑफ करेंट सो हियर करेंट नाउ इज बी ग्राफ ऑफ बी वी नीड टू गेट द एडजेंट नोड ऑफ बी सो ग्राफ ऑफ बी इज हियर ए एंड डी आर द एडजेंट नोड ऑफ बी सो विल गेट ए एंड डी हियर फर्स्ट आई विल बी ए सो इट विल चेक इफ आई नॉट इन विजिटेड वन नो actually a is already present in the visited one so this condition become false so it won't execute its body control will again go here to the for loop i becomes d so it will check if i not in visited one here i is d so d is not visited one d is not in visited one true condition becomes true so it will append that to q q dot append i so here d is added to q right visited one dot add i so add d to visited one now control will again go here for loop there are no nodes to execute so we are done here so control will again go here while loop while q q is not empty condition is true so current q dot pop zero here it will remove c current becomes c print current so it will print c to the screen next for i in graph of current here current is c so adjacent nodes of c that is a and d so it will check first i becomes a so it will check whether a is present in visited one a not in visited one the condition is false because a is already present in visited one so it won't execute its body control will again go here i becomes d it will check whether d is not in visited no d is already present in visited one so condition becomes false so it won't execute this body control will again go here c doesn't have any other adjacent node for loop will stop and control will again go to while loop while q q is not empty because d is present so condition becomes true current equal to q dot pop zero so d will be popped out of the q so current becomes d then print current so d is printed to the screen for i in graph of current it will give the adjacent node of d so d is nothing but b c e f g these are the adjacent node of d so first i becomes b it will check if i not in visited one no b is already present so it won't execute the here control will again go to for loop i become c it will check whether c is present in the visited one yes c is already visited so it won't execute it, its body again control will go here i becomes e so it will check whether e is not in visited one e is not in visited one true e is not present here visited one this condition is true so q dot append i so e is added to q visited one add i so e is added to visited one set now control will again go to for loop i becomes f so f is not present in the visited one so add that to q and add that to visited set again control will go here i becomes g g is not in visited one true so add it to q and visited one add i add g to visited one set so here we are done so control will go here in the for loop we don't have any other nodes so it will come out of the for loop and control will go to while loop q q is not empty so condition is true current dot pop q dot pop 0 so e is popped out of the q 
current becomes E then print current so here E then for I in graph of current current is E so we need adjacent node of E so adjacent of node of E is D so here D I becomes D it will check I not in visited one no already D is present so it won't execute its body here we don't have any other adjacent node control will again go to the while loop Q is not empty so it will pop the first element so current becomes F next print that to screen so here F and here for I in graph of current current is F graph of current so adjacent node of F that is D so it will check if I not in visited one no D is already present so it won't execute its body we don't have any other adjacent node so control will again go to while loop so Q is not empty so current equal to Q dot pop 0 G will be removed from the Q G is removed from the Q current is G print current so here here you'll need to print G for I in graph of current adjacent node of G that is D so if I not in visited one so D is already present in the visited one set so no need to execute its body we don't have any other adjacent node of G so control will again go here while Q but Q is empty now there are no nodes in the Q so Q is empty so this condition become false control will come out of the loop there are no other statements to execute we are done with the execution of the BFS function so control will return to here so this is how this BFS function works so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care